I thought they should have learned, or they could have learned from this. Unfortunately, they are not learning. So before you create a unit to go against any atom of coup d'etat, put your house in order, stop lying to your electorate, stop lying to your citizens, stop looting the resources of your country, stop corruption in your country, and then you can talk about anti, anti coup d'etat. When Alpha Conde was killing his people in Guinea, after serving 10 years, he said it was not enough. I want to serve another town. During the process, so many Guineans were killed. And I did not see any echo was going there or condemning him. You know why? Because Guinea was too big for them, or Alpha was dancing to their tune. Because I think that was why the Sudan Gambia was surrounded on site by soldiers and guns in 2016. Because Gambia was small, or Gambia is a small country, and Jamme was not dancing to their tune. After the presidential election in Guinea, more than 300 Guineans were butchered, killed. No echo was condemning. No African Union condemned. Instead, they pick up their phones and say, we say the president for this country. Congratulations. Welcome to Wake Up Black. Educate and enlighten. As an African, a Pan-Africanist, I am very concerned about the happenings in Africa, especially West Africa. Yagut, of recent I have seen the ECOWAS introducing the anti coup d'etat unit. Nunepur coup d'etat da fawara stop. Kukodef, they will form a big unit. Nunepur attack. We are not in support of coup d'etat. Let me make that very clear. And I want them to hear this. We are not support or in support of coup d'etat. I was a member of the Pan-African Parliament and have advocated strongly for us to introduce a term limit to make sure that we do away with coup d'etat in Africa, especially in West Africa. Yeah, yeah. So meaning, I am not in support of coup d'etat. But I have a concern. Before setting up a unit or anti-coup d'etat unit in Air Force, isn't it time that the African head of states or the ECOWAS head of states look into the reason why there are coup d'etat? What are the root causes of coup d'etat? Let them put their house in order first before they set up an anti coup d'etat unit. Let them put their house in order. And I believe their house is not in order. This unit is set up to defend them and to protect them only, nobody else. What is more coup d'etat than your national constitution gives you two term limit, five years, two terms. After serving ten years, you want to change the constitution for another term. Is that not a coup d'etat? Because you feel you have the powers to do that. The soldiers have the powers to coup d'etat. That is also another coup d'etat. And they are living with them there. They are there. In the name of civilian, putting on multi clothes, calling yourself a Democrat, when you loot all the resources of your country, mislead people, torture them, imprison them, burn their businesses to us, and you call that a democracy? or a civilian rule, and an illegally elected government. The leaders must stop lying to their electorate first. They must stop the corruption. They must stop looting our resources. They must understand that they are not a better citizen than anybody. 
They are given a responsibility, a role to play, to help develop the countries and make sure that there is peace and tranquility and respect the constitution of the country. But this is not happening. Example is this government. This government has lied to people in 2016 that they are going only for three years. Was that not a lie? Who asked them to tell people that we are going for three years? Were they forced to say that? They went down the whole country, lied to everyone. When the people started reminding them, this is what you promised us, they threw tear gas on them. And the president is bragging, yes, when I throw tear gas in them, they never came back. Does, not, does, does that not anger the citizens? You throw tear gas on your people. Some of them are wounded and you stand out there and bragging that I throw them a tear gas. They never come back. That alone can anger the citizens. You promise the people you will have a security sector reform. It's never happening. The civil service sector reform is never happening. The Jani Commission, Jani Commission was violated before the end of the Violet Commission. When you take all the assets of the former president, and now you are busy buying assets, your days are coming. I thought they should have learned, or they could have learned from this. Unfortunately, they are not learning. So before you create a unit to go against any attempt of coup d'etat, put your house in order, stop lying to your electorate, stop lying to your citizens, stop looting the resources of your country, stop corruption in your country. And then you can talk about anti-coup d'etat. Anti When Alpha Conde was killing his people in Guinea, <laughs> after serving 10 years, he said it was not enough. I want to serve another term. During the process, so many Guineans were killed. And I did not see any echo was going there or condemning him. You know why? because Guinea was too big for them, or Alpha was dancing to their tune. Because I think that was why the Sumon Gambia was surrounded all sides by soldiers and guns in 2016. Because Gambia was small, or Gambia is a small country, and Jamme was not dancing to their tune. After the presidential election in Guinea, more than 300 Guineans were butchered, killed. No echo was condemned him. No African Union condemned him. Instead, they pick up their phones and say, Musele President, felicitate you, congratulations. That is the fair game that is happening in Africa. They can condemn Mali. They can condemn Guinea. They are soldiers. But the one in Chad, who has been given a red carpet for the African Union, was never condemned, and he's a soldier too. He's a soldier. They can give him a red carpet for the African Union. But the other soldiers are condemned for their attempt, or for their, for their act. Where is the fairness in ECOWAS, or in the African Union? They are not representing us. I believe they are representing themselves. So we are calling them to remember that power belongs to the people. Alassane Ouattara knows how he came into power with Babo. He knows. 
But he finished his 10-year term. He changed the constitution for another term. They are there with him. Nobody condemns him. They are not there to condemn him because he's dancing to their tune. So I'm calling on ECOWAS to do the right thing. We young Africans, we are here watching and we fear nothing. I don't have to be a president to be a Gambian. I don't have to be a president to contribute my quota towards national development. But I'm a proud Gambian and a proud African.